Boys and girls, cats and squirrels, what is going on? My name is Lady Sultan, and welcome back to another video here on the channel. As you can already tell, there's a bit of a change on this video. Sorry, there's a bit of a little... There's a bit of a difference in this video, and it's not just that I can't speak. Well, then again, I always can't speak English, even though I am English. But uh, as you can tell, there's just random salt falling behind me, and this is going to be my new default background for any video like this, because I really like the salt. Go figure. I mean... I am slightly salty but uh either way what is this video this video if you haven't heard of it yet um it's the wants the battle tag lock of 2020 i don't know if that's the official name but it's um the bird keeper toby wants the battle uh challenge video going around right now bird keeper toby invented this it's pretty much just a list of questions that we all read out we all answer um and then you tag three people at the end and i just got tagged by two people literally hours apart um, I got tagged by Rebel Trainer today, Rebel X Trainer on Twitter. Anybody I mention in this video, by the way, their links will be down below, their Twitter and their YouTube. Um, so Bird Keeper Toby's is already down there, Rebel X Trainer. And then the other person that tagged me is JV, who you've seen him on the channel already. He's been in the FFAs with us and uh, he was our week one battle in the IBA too. Roblox Trainer, I'm not too sure when I'm going to battle him, but he'll for sure make an appearance on this channel, whether it's the IBA draft or what. He's also a guy from the IBA. Um, but yeah, they tagged me, so uh, let's just get right into the video. I'm going to answer seven questions here. Um, well, pretty much six. Um, we'll just get right into it. First question, why did you choose your YouTube name? In case you couldn't tell already, my name is Slightly Salty. It's right there. And also... I mentioned it like two minutes ago, not even less. This video, we're not even two minutes into this video. Um, slightly salty. So, in case for for those of you who didn't know, slightly salty wasn't the first name I chose. Um, initially, my name was going to be a play on of my last name, my actual nickname. My nickname is Skeeks. Uh, it's my family's nickname, and um, that was initially going to be the name I was going with. Uh, I went with that name for a while before doing videos, and tried that. And then I wasn't a big fan of that. Came up with Skeekers. And, um, Skeekers wasn't bad, but I just didn't want to use it. And then I came up with Heat Skeekers from, like, Heat Seekers. I said, I was playing COD with a friend. I'm like, yo, Heat Seeker Missile Inbound. I'm like, wait, Heat Skeeker Missile Inbound. That's how that came up with. Um, and then we just continued playing COD all the time. Me and my friends used to play COD all the time. And, um, I was salty. A lot when I played COD. I don't know why I have this in. Um, I used to be super salty when I played COD. I'm just a super salty person. So, um, I was like getting pissed off with COD one day. I'm like, screw this. I'm salty. I'm like, I'm extremely salty right now. I'm not even lightly salted, slightly salted. I'm extremely salted. And uh, my friend looked at me. He's like, yo, slightly salted would be a pretty good name for like a YouTube series. I'm like, yeah, it would. Like, I just go on about, I just rant. Rant about video games, rant about life stories. And it was initially supposed to be a mini series on the Heat Skeeker channel, which is taken down. Um, it was supposed to be just a mini series called Slightly Salted or Slightly Salty or whatever. Um, and initially, my name was Slightly Salted. I still go by Slightly Salted, but lately I've been going by Slightly Salty. Um, and yeah, and then I just like the name too much to only put it as a mini series. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna adapt this into my name, change my Xbox name to it. And then when I came back to content, I'm like, let's do it, slightly salted. And then I ended up switching it to salty because everybody called me salt or salty anyways. So I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna go with slightly salty. It also sounds cooler than slightly salted. I'm slightly salted still works, but I'm slightly salty. Let's be honest. I'm slightly salty. I'm always, my salt's never in the past. It's always in the present, but um, Another thing about my name, why is it spelled with an I instead of a Y? Originality, it's cooler. It was already taken on YouTube with a Y. Those are the many reasons. But uh, one of the big reasons why is in case you watch How I Met Your Mother, Barney Stinson. He always says girls that are spelled with an I instead of a Y are always like 20 times hotter. And um, you know what? He's not wrong. So then I was like, you know what? It's cool. Don't make me hotter. So I'm going to do it with an I instead of a Y. And um, you know what? I just started spelling it like that and i loved it so i kept up with it and that's pretty much why i chose the name slightly salty and why it's spelled like that 
pretty much just because I'm a salty person. Um, lightly salted didn't sound too good. Slightly salted, pretty original. But, uh, yeah. Question number two, what is your favorite Pokemon game? For the longest time, I would have always told you Emerald. And up to a couple months ago, I would have told you Emerald. But a couple months ago, I decided to pick back up my DS and play Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire again. And the reason why Emerald is my favorite gen is because it was the first gen I ever completed. It was actually my favorite my favorite region is uh, the Hoenn region. My favorite game is Emerald because it's the sequel to Ruby and Sapphire, the first games I finished. Ruby and Sapphire were the first games I finished. I think it was I had Ruby, my brother had Sapphire, and after we both beat the games, we swapped. Um, even though there wasn't that much difference, and then we swapped back again, beat them all again, kept the Ruby and Sapphire because those were ours. But um, yeah, they were the first games I finished. I started on Red, but um, I was too young. Like, Red's older than me. It's a year older than me. So I was too young to actually beat Red when I played it the first time. So Silver and Gold, same thing. Like, I played it, but I never really fully beat it. Um, it was pretty much Ruby. Ruby was the first one I beat, and I used to play it 24-7 because that, that was the game that made me fully in love with video games. And, um, sorry, fall in love with video games, and it made me fall in love with Pokemon. So that was one game I played all the time, and that's why up to years ago, I would have said Emerald. Because once Emerald came out, I did not let that thing go. Even when Diamond and Pearl came out, like I played those things, but I always went back to Emerald. Um, and honest, when I first downloaded an emulator on my phone, Emerald was the one that I played all the time. I've played Emerald easily over 100 times, if not more, um, just off screen. And it's because I just love it. I would have always said Emerald, but then when I picked back up Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire a couple months ago, it's the exact same story, essentially. It's essentially the same story, just better graphics. Um, and just the new the new mechanics, the new moves, the new Pokemon, and just the art style makes it my favorite game. Um, now, Sword and Shield definitely has a better art style, but just Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire are iconic. Um, and I just love them. They're my favorite games, for sure. Um... Now on to the next question. Question number three, what is your favorite evil team? Um, I thought about this off screen because I really did not have a straight up answer to this. Uh, I could go original, the OGs, go Team Rocket. I mean, they're always a safe bet. However, like, they're so played out. They're in so many games and like, yeah, like, they're played out. Um, team Magma, Team Aqua. Mm, they're not the greatest like they're no mega ruby and alpha sapphire so i love them but they're not the greatest um at least they're not my favorite uh my favorite honestly was probably going to be the a13 foundation from the alola region uh not because like i like their design or anything but their story they were perceived as the good guys they were the ones to s that were supposed to save humanity and yet they put it in jeopardy um so i'm definitely going to say the team aether foundation is probably my favorite evil team just because they were the good guys but truly, they were the bad guys. Question number four. What should your viewers expect from you this year? Um, a lot. Um, my main goal is to have at least two uploads a week. Um, plus either a stream or two a week. Um, currently, we're doing four uploads a week. I really want to keep that up. I don't want to drop down. Sorry, I don't want to drop lower than three. But... Um, I have a lot of stuff in the summer two jobs uh baseball and just girlfriend other stuff um i have a lot of stuff in the summer so yeah so i'll probably have to go down to two in the summer hopefully not hopefully i could stay at three but we'll have to wait and see um but yeah what could you really expect from me content wise this year um iba all year round uh we'll take a break in between seasons but the second IBA Season 1 is done, me and the guys are already talking about IBA Season 2. IBA Season 2 will have a tier system, and it will have a minimum of four more coaches. Um, but we're currently at an eight-coach roster in IBA. Actually, at the moment, we're currently at seven, uh, potentially. But um, we'll get into that later. Uh, no, we won't get into that at all. You'll hear about it maybe in a video. I explained a bit of it at the beginning of Pokemon Red Randomizer Nuzlocke Episode 2. If you really want to know, go watch that. But, um, 
We have an eight-man roster in season one. We're going up to a 12-man roster in season two. Can't confirm that, if not more. Uh, I'm pumped for season two already, and it hasn't even started. We're not even done season one. Uh, but yeah, season one's gonna go. Season one, we totaled it. Uh, there's eight weeks, probably three weeks of playoffs, plus a week break in between regular season and playoffs. That's going up to April 11th. April 11th? Yeah, April 11th. So you have IBA till April 11th. And I can tell you, IBA season two, latest it's coming back is June. Um, most likely, at least. I won't officially say that is, but like most likely, latest will return is June. Um, what else can you see? Um, definitely more Soul Link with me and West. Uh, we're only on episode four, I think, went live this week. We're about to record five tomorrow, five and six. Um, so definitely you could see probably more of that. Uh, this year we're probably gonna jump right into season two after season one as long as we're both enjoying the content enjoying each other and making good content um what else could you see what else could you see solo stuff uh like i've said i mentioned in episode one of the red uh i really want to play at least one game from every generation generation six and seven is gonna have to wait until i get a better pc but um i want to have at least every gen on my channel before the end of the year guaranteed um so that's what you can expect you could expect me to play at least every gen before the end of the year um and definitely more collab works i want to get at least two more lab projects going um with two different people um like i'm not i don't count season two of soul link as a second collab project i want somebody else there could be even somebody from a, somebody that tagged me maybe we could be doing some a little something something together who knows he said he was down i said i was down but we never got into it in the dms or anything that could potentially be something um i'd be so down if that happens um but definitely two other people i want to make like a series with not just a one-off a series um speaking of another series that you can expect from the channel i'm most likely going to be doing theme battles here on the channel uh, it's not going to be the same thing like other channels where it's just like you and somebody else go up against each other every week, just different theme. No, it's going to be something new every week. You come in, you tell me, you're gonna, we're going to DM, you tell me the theme, and we battle it out with our themes. You tell me the theme, you tell me what side you want, I'll choose what side I want, and um, you get priority, obviously, you choose, and then I'll choose, I get the second option, um, if there's only two options, and uh, we duke it out. We do get out um but yeah don't have an estimated date yet on when that's gonna happen uh still not even sure if that is going to happen i just kind of talked about it so i kind of locked myself in but i'm not too sure when um what else could you expect i don't know what else you can expect surprises um but it, at this current time uh i can't tell you what to expect Question number five, why did you start the channel? Why did I start the channel? Um, it's only been a couple months. Uh, I started it because I watch United Gamer, Original 151, Ashley Mania videos, King Corfish, uh, Game Boy Luke, and before them, I watched A Drive and Shady Penguin. And um, the joy, I guess? Watching them, I saw how much they loved it and I saw much, how much happiness it brought them on and off screen. Like, I follow them all on Twitter. And just their tweets and stuff about how happy they were doing it and stuff. Um, and I'm like, you know what? I'm down to give it a shot. And then I recorded my first video and I immediately knew what they were talking about. Just the recording alone, even though it's for not a lot of viewers. Um, I don't really care about the views right now. I enjoy my content and I enjoy recording it. So, it just, I don't know, made me feel good recording it. Get more confidence, I guess. And uh, I was like, screw it. Why not? Um, yeah, that's pretty much the reason why I started the channel, started recording, just because I wanted that, wanted that feeling that United Gamer gets and all of them get, um, from recording. They talk about it all the time on videos, talk it all the time on Twitter, um, talk about it all the time. Um, and I was like, bet, let me try that. Let me try to get something like that. I was like, I, and, uh, yeah, I'm currently getting it, I'd say. That's gonna be question five. Question number six. Name someone with similar slash less subscribers you think your audience would enjoy. 
Now, I don't really know anybody with less subscribers, um, but I'm just gonna throw, uh, I recommend you guys check out everybody in the IBA. Um, the IBA Draft League is a draft league I was talking about before. It's a draft league I'm the commissioner of, in case you didn't know. Uh, we're eight guys. Check them us all out. Uh, I absolutely, the seven other guys, I love their content. Um, love their content, love who they are. And just, it's fun to talk to them in the chat. Definitely check out all of them. I know I'm only supposed to name one, but I'm gonna say definitely check out all of them. But um, I guess the top one I would have to say to check out, and the reason he's top is because he's my soling partner. Definitely check out uh, W3S7, uh, also known as West, or W3S717. Definitely check him out, because definitely enjoy his content. He's on the grind. He hasn't missed a single, he's missed one day since 2020. One day of content since 2020, and it was like two days ago, two, three days ago. So definitely check him out. Um, now I have to tag three people. Um, one person I'm going to tag, he's already been tagged in this, but I'm going to tag him again just to make sure he actually does it, and that is my souling partner. W3S7, West, I'm calling you out. I want you to make a video. You need to do it. We're souling. If I'm doing it, you got to do it, and that's why I'm making sure you get tagged twice. Um... And even though I've already talked to him about it on Twitter, I haven't talked about it in DMs, but um, we talked about it on Twitter because like we were both tagged by the same person. We were both tagged by JV. And uh, oh yeah, first things first, JV is still on my tags. Like literally, I've been thinking about it and I was like, who am I going to tag if I get tagged in one? And Rebel tagged me. And when I saw Rebel tag me, I'm like, yo, bet I'm going to tag JV, West, and Streamy. And JV jacked them all. Well, JV got tagged by somebody else. I didn't know that. And then he tagged me, West, and Streamy. <sighs> Come on, JV. You beat me and now you're stealing everything from me? <laughs> I've already done this to him once in Soul Link. <laughs> I've already talked about him once in Soul Link, saying that he's just walking around like, Hey, I won. Hey. I'm boss. But now JV's great. Uh, but I'm definitely going to tag West again to make sure he actually does this. The second person I'm going to tag, I don't know if they will do this because they just made their return to YouTube, like literally channel update video went up today. I'm tagging you shiny tracks. If you're watching this, uh, you're definitely going to see this on Twitter because I'm tagging you. Uh, shiny tracks just came back from a hiatus. Um, he's back. He just re released a channel update video. I haven't watched it yet, so I'm really hoping he doesn't say like he's only coming back in a couple weeks. Uh, if you did say that, then I'm sorry. But I'm tagging you because although you've been gone and I'm sure your channel update goes over a bit of these questions, I think one of the best ways you can come back in with your channel is just completely revealing to everyone who you exactly are, what you're going to be doing for like the entire year, like stuff you're like thinking about. Don't like tell us what you're going to be doing because you probably don't even know because you only just came back. But give us like hints and stuff about what you may be doing. Um, so hopefully he'll do it. I don't know if he will. Like I said, I haven't watched, gotten a chance to watch his video yet. I'm definitely going to be giving it a view after this. Third person I'd like to tag is Sony that I recently started talking to on Twitter. Um, I only have been following her now for a couple days, but I've been, uh, talking to her in her tweets and she's been like liking my stuff and talking to me and mine. Uh, I'm going to tag cat likes cats. Um, I'm tagging you deal with it. Uh, we were just talking in DMs earlier today, not DMs, we were talking in a tweet earlier today, uh, a bit back and forth, but um, not too extensively, but um, I'm tagging you, do a, do this video, answer the questions, uh, the seven questions in this video, do them, tag somebody, get people into this, um, right now she's like planning to do a Japan, a Japan vlog, here you can do this before your Japan vlog. And like, she said she's thinking about it. It was on Twitter. Um, but yeah, cat likes cats. I'm tagging you. The three people I'm tagging is W3S7, also known as West, Shiny Tracks, and Cat Likes Cats. I hope all of you make this video because honestly, it was fun to make. That's going to be it for this one. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know down in the comments if you have any other questions about me. Maybe I'll make like a second Q&A video if there's enough questions on here about like what you guys want to know. That's going to be it for this one. Hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay salty.